Welcome, friends, to my kitchen. Bem vindo à minha cozinha. It's Sunday morning here, and I've been doing a lot of sourdough um, bread and trying different recipes. And when I do, I have what they call a discard. We have to take some out, and instead of me throwing it away, I put it in this container. So now I have a lot of discard, and I'm trying to find ways to use this. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna make some bagels using the discard from my sourdough bread. I will make a video how, how I did all this, so that way you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do. Sourdough bagels with discard. So I have here one cup of warm water, and then I have one cup of the discard. One tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons of yeast, I mean of sugar, and then two teaspoons of yeast, and three and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. And I'm gonna do this in my mixer because it's easier and less mess. So into my water, I'm gonna put my discard of sourdough and this gives a different texture and a different um, uh, taste to your bagels than your normal bagel dough so uh, I'm gonna let th let this here kind of just soften and I want to dissolve all that starter or that discard okay into my mix, I'm going to add my flour. And then my yeast. My sugar and my salt. And we're going to blend all this so they all blend together. So... Anyway, it's all blended. And I'm gonna switch from my paddle to the hook. We're gonna need the hook. I love making different things like this. And I started in this sourdough journey, try to make sourdough bread. I wanna dissolve all that discard in the warm water. And you want warm water, you don't want hot water because it will kill the yeast and the starter. So anyway, so I started in this journey of making sourdough bread and uh, I've had, like I said, I've had a lot of that discard, um, put it in this and now I'm like, oh my gosh, I got so much so I got to utilize it. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to start mixing the flour with all this um, water and then the discard. And we're gonna make bagels. I'm gonna let this mix here for probably about four or five minutes until that uh, flour is all incorporated and it starts pulling away from the, the bowl. I might have to add a little bit more water, depending on the flour, depending on the, the weather. So, um, we'll see. I'm gonna warm up some more water. I know I will. I'm gonna mix this until it becomes like a bowl and you can see it's soft, but, and it starts pulling away from the bowl. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I can tell it's a little harder. Okay, I'm gonna spray my bowl with some um, spray so it won't stick. And we're gonna take our dough from the hook. And this is what you want. You want kind of soft, but not too soft. So it can be 
a little bit pliable so you can work. Put it in that flour, I mean in that bowl with oil. And I'm gonna do kind of a some folds so it starts stretching that gluten. And it starts shaping into a ball. And then we're gonna let this rise. Um, of course, that depends the weather and where you're at. So it can take, until it fills this bowl, doubles in size. It can take up to an hour or, or less. Um, I'm just gonna put mine in my oven on proof so it'll be faster. I'm gonna cover with plastic wrap and put it in the oven. Okay, friends, here it is, my dough for my bagels, my sourdough bagel discard. And now we're gonna shape the bagels. The dough looks beautiful. So I'm gonna divide this into eight pieces or whatever size you want to make um, of bagels. So now I have eight pieces, um, about the same size. And then we're gonna shape them into a ball and shape into the bagel. And then we're going to um, let them rise again and then we'll go from there. So I like to do it in my counter and just circle around my palm and form into a ball and let them rest before I do my hole. So it will be easier to make that hole. And I just shape my dough into a ball, put it in the palm of my hand and on, on the counter and form into a nice little ball. To a nice ball. And then I go to the first one, I pat it down a little bit, and then I'm gonna make a hole to go through. And I put it in my finger and I twirl it around, or two. And make a bigger hole than you think you need because um, that hole is gonna um, close as they rise. So, make them bigger, because they will shrink. And then I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap or a tea towel, and let them sit here and rise for 30 minutes. And then I'm going to get my water bath ready to boil them. We boil them and um, and then we, we bake them. And I try to make the, the hole, try to go in a center so there's enough dough to both sides. I know I made one in there, it doesn't look, the dough is evenly. And you can put it on your hand and shape it if you need to. And then as far as what you want to put in, in them, let's say if you want to make a specific uh, cinnamon, I, I mean a, a specific um, bagel, like if I wanted to make this cheddar cheese, I, and I want the cheese to incorporate it throughout, I would just mix it in the dough uh, and then go from there. But because this is a small amount, I'm going to make varieties and I'm just gonna use the basic dough inside and then put the toppings on top. But we do that after we boil them. So, shape them. And if you see some that already start closing, just go back and open them. And I'm gonna put that in a parchment paper because they're sticking to the bottom. I'm gonna go back and get the little, the hole a little bigger and put on parchment paper so they don't stick as much when you go to go um, bake them in, in the water bath. 
These are look so fluffy. That one, it looks like it's lopsided, but that's okay. This is for us. And I put the rougher part on the bottom so the top, it looks smooth. And let me show you. Here it is, my bagels. Now I'm gonna cut, put them here and I'm gonna cover them with a tea towel and wait 30 minutes. Okay friends, it's time to boil my bagels. I have a pot here with water and I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of baking soda. And what the baking soda is gonna do is gonna change the texture of the dough and the outside's gonna get chewy and also it's gonna make it shine. So that's why it kinda, some of the bagels, they kinda shine in the outside. So, I'm gonna remove them gentle and then place them in that water. And I'm gonna lower that water. I'm gonna put a couple at a time. And uh, well, as I take them out with the, with the um, spatula, as you, you don't need them there very long. I'm gonna flip them to the other side. So I have a towel here that I'm gonna put my baked, my water bath bagels, and uh, it's gonna drain some of that water, and then we're gonna bake it. My oven is preheated at 425 and depending on your oven this might bake for 30 minutes 20 minutes until they're just golden all the way around it is ideal to put parchment paper because they want to stick if they were on here so what I do is I flip the paper upside down and gently pull them if you didn't have the parchment paper, it would be hard to uh, get them out. And this is what I do. I pull it out, let it fall on its own so I don't deflate it. And then what I do is the bottom part, I put it down. So this top that is smooth will be the top of the bagel. Okay friends, so now, we're gonna flavor these bagels. So these two I have powder, uh, sugar and cinnamon. I'm gonna put it all over the top. And like I said, if you wanted to make them um, inside, you could have put mixed the cinnamon and sugar inside the dough. But I wanted to just try this. So these are cinnamon sugar. So I've done the cinnamon sugar. I'm gonna do three with Parmesan cheese and a bagel seasoning. Well, actually, I'm just gonna do two. I'm gonna leave two plain, just in case if somebody wants plain. And now I have that bagel uh, all bagel seasoning. Everything bagel seasoning. Okay. That's done. And then in here, I'm going to do two with, supposed to have been cheddar cheese, but I don't have cheddar cheese. I have um, pepper cheese. So I'm gonna put pepper cheese all over them and I cut it into really small little cubes and try to put it all there. And then I have some jalapenos and I'm gonna put some jalapenos. And pour more cheese on top of those jalapenos. I don't know how is this gonna work, but 
we're doing the best. If you wanted more flavor, again, inside, you could have cut the jalapeno into small pieces and then the cheese and mix with the dough. That's if you want it that way. But because I'm just trying. So in here I have a variety of the bagels. Okay, friends, my bagels are done and they look beautiful. Here's the plain ones. This one, perfect. Look in the bottom. These are the Parmesan with all bagel seasoning. I'm gonna let them cool. And these are my uh, uh, cinnamon sugar. Oh, that little burned cheese. I'm gonna let these sit here a little bit longer because that cheese is still so gooey in the center. Mm. That one with a nice and a nice sandwich, delicious. And here it is, friends, my beautiful um, bagels. And you make these for a weekend and put this like this on the table, put some cheese, some, um, maybe some um, smoked salmon and different varieties. It makes a beautiful, um, a beautiful breakfast. These, these cheddar cheeses have my name on it. I love the spicy jalapenos. Anyway, so that's what I did with sourdough discard. I made sourdough bagel. I made a variety so I could show you the different things you can do and there's many more you can do. So you give it a try to this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the bell and give me some thumbs up. Share my videos on your social media and with your friends. And until next time, let's get cooking. Have a good day.